Senna. Pals. All right, we are here for the finale of season one of X Men '97. Thanks so much for joining us again. As you can see, Achara Kirk and I are in separate locations because Achara got a wee bit sick. Shout her out. Thanks in the comments for being a trooper and still being here to shoot with us. Here we go. The finale of season one for X Men '97. <laughs> One more time until we see you again for season two. They haven't changed Wolverine's part at all, like from no. the original. Like, I don't think they've altered his whatsoever, or Beast, or Jubilee. Oh, that's different. Yeah. All right. This is it. Here we go. Oh, wow. Uh, that's definitely like war music. Yeah. Though either will kill you. Would we be here helping the survivors if we cared about staying alive? We care about others. And if indeed mutants exist, they don't. So positive. Why wouldn't they use their abilities to make the world better for all people? They're already the best everything. They even fight over who's the best victim. Hmm. Wow. Be mindful not to sound like you actually are a mutant. What if I were? Would you still love me? Run and hide before someone starts dreaming of camps. He's got experience. Yeah. I'm a mutant. <gasps> telepathy. Mind reader. Through telepathy, he would also know that he's a mutant. Yeah. He's going to show him. Bend to metal. metal. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It bends to my will. Oh, you just learned that? <laughs> I've met several. Many alone. Scared, and they will be feared. Hated. Not if we guide them. Help them cherish their gifts. Always the optimist, Professor. Always the optimist. Yeah. Y'all should keep this conversation up here on the down low. It's true. Eric? Who dat? Rogue. Oh. Oh, it's... Charles. Oh, he's in his head. Welcome to your mind, Magnus. Oh, crap. This is a violation. You declared yeah. war against mankind. Turn my X-Men against each other. Yeah, wh what did you expect him to do? And Logan. Is Logan okay? He meant to murder me. Too many have died, Magnus. Both have the power to end it. What does that mean? Do you? for Bastion's bastard cyborgs to resume their pogrom against our species? No. What happens to mutants in a blacked out world? Evolution thrives in darkness. Ah. Uh. Restore Earth's power or I will hijack your mind and force you to do so. Whoa. Wow. Psychic penetration risks leaving both our minds shattered. What if they become like Gogeta? <laughs> Just unite? Yeah. When my village used reason while others used tanks. Yeah. Then forgive me, Magnus. Whoa! Oh, oh, this is getting violent. You know, Magneto's perspective is so easy to understand. Absolutely. That's what makes him such a compelling, I don't even want to say villain. He's just like an adversary, you know? An antagonist. Yeah, because he had a very different life experience. Holy crap. What the? Wow, that was powerful. Oh, who dat? Who dat? Who dat up there? Silver Samurai, I believe. Uh oh. Oh! The Avengers are going to get involved. Daredevil! Daredevil! Wow. The inevitability of my vision. Oh my god! Oh my god! We're doing. We're dropping everybody today. <laughs> A dream as crippled as its dreamer, built to die. Oh shit! Buggy stillborns flapping upstream, draining yourselves dry so that the tide can more easily drown you. Whoa, he got an upgrade. Had a good professor taken me in when mother begged him. I'd be hanging here with you freaks. Even then, fate got my back. <laughs> fate is my homie. <laughs> I didn't ask for this either. To be born with this programming. None choose to be born, Bastion. That's why we must never begrudge them being. Yes. He looks like Gozer. Kind of, yes. Slavery and genocide ain't enough. As I told Dr. Cooper right before she betrayed me and her kind, 
people are too damn good. I must protect humanity from itself. What? From the hearts that start dripping red at the latest token underdog. He's like a cancer. He's like everything that I fear about AI. That's a better comparison, actually. How many times did you fail to stop me? Make him speak, Sinister. My writhing thing. 200. Oh my wow. god. 200 times. But how's your mommy, Sebastian? Ooh, spicy. You know this better than most, except what it's been saying. Jean Grey, Madeline Pryor, Never Phoenix, just dead. Not quite as intense as Loki's journey, but 200 times is still a lot. Yeah. This pup is my prize, Bastion. An example must be made. Cable will stop at nothing, but he is as blind as his deadbeat dad and as doomed as it. Uh oh, don't speak too soon. You two should have listened to what Time's got to say about my mom. It's Phoenix. She's here. Yo! Watch out, bitches. <laughs> I think that's how she appeared at the end of X Men 2. It Phoenix. is. Okay, it is? Okay, you just rewatched it. Yeah. The Prime Sentinels were never your family. They did not choose to become slaves to hate. Wow. She's so cool. Are they all dying or are they healing? I doubt she would just kill a bunch of people, but the fall alone might kill them. You think huh. peacocking makes you old again? Think it rebuilds your past? If so truly, you did not think at all. Kick his butt. All I do is think. Ha. That's true. All this oh. mutant DNA you stole to stay duct taped together, Ew. young and relevant. Oh, dang, she's taking him apart him from the inside. Please, no. Please? You wow. begging? No, bitch. You go down. Yeah, thank you. Free at last. Oh, oh my gosh. Crap. Show me. Show me my face. No, you don't want to see it. Looks the same <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Mom. Gene, your powers! The Phoenix Force is gone now. Oh. But I could feel it deep inside, pulling me back to protect my son. Aww. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Oh, shit. Dang, uh, she should have stayed as Phoenix for longer. What have you done to me? It's not over yet. Oh! You sealed humanity's fate. Think, Nathan. I could have used sleighs, camps, or death marches. Oh Whoa! no! Oh my gosh! What the hell? But instead, I killed Genosha in 4,621 seconds. Well, it looks like a replacement arm anyway. Yeah, I think so. He can get that swapped out. Yeah, he can. Just needs to run down to Best Buy. Pop on him. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Dang! Whoa! Whoa! He just super saiyan I will tear that rock from the heavens and hurl it to Earth, granting humans the same mercy I granted your clone mother. It's hard to root against the bad guys when they're so cool. <laughs> I'm still rooting against him, okay? He looked grody at first, but then with the wings and everything, he looked awesome. Why ain't they waking up? Magnus. Mentally interlocked. Are you all right? No. Uh, who's Magnus? Uh -oh. Who are you? I'm a teacher. This feels like something straight out of the old show. I think they've done something like this in the old show. I've oh. like, but I don't remember. How did I get here? I can show you. I promise. But you must trust me. Understand? Okay. Their pulses are steady. So is Wolverine. Why isn't he healing fast? Don't you dare break her heart. Be the best at what you do. Heal. He got pretty messed up. Back up, Gene. And the I mean, his toe is sticking out of his boot. Gene, you're okay. <laughs> like, where's Nathan? It's in a, Scott, it's in a bad a state when your feet are sticking out of your boot he... like that. He hurt him. Uh oh, Daddy's coming. My psychic attack shattered Magnus's psyche. I must restore it before the pain consumes his mind. Oh shit! If you're still linked with him when that happens, both our minds will be lost. Wow. Magneto put us in this mess. We won't lose you again. 
In order to save the world, we must not lose him. Professor. All right, Gene, you know what to do. Not a lot you can do except wait. Bastion's inbound to you. He intends to bring asteroid M down on Earth. He's more than flesh or metal. More than unstoppable. Bastion is the future incarnate. Yuck. If he's gonna bring the sucker down, he'll blow up the gravity core. Gene and Storm couldn't stop him. It's up to you guys. We both know how this will go for me. Like, I just learned my powers yesterday. So, well, you know. Say it. Say it with your chest. <laughs> Odds may be bad, but the cards are always in the X-Men's favor. Aw. Come on, guys. Oh shit. Um, guys. No bueno. His name was Gambit. Oh. Remember it. Yes. Oh. Witness me. <laughs> Appreciate that. Get him. One more. Whoa. Is this even hurting him, though? I don't know. He's but ragdolling around, but he's probably all right. He can get up and be like, all that for a drop of blood. Oh, shoot. Uh, maybe hurt him a little bit. Messed up, though. What re if reform. she touched him? See? And took his power and then just, like, disabled everything. Seems odd that she wouldn't start with that. Yeah. Oh, shit. What the hell? Take, take your glove off. Yeah, I was about to say, take your glove off. That's what I would do. I'd be like... Oh, oh no. goodness. Oh, no. Don't pop her head off. Oh. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto da Costa. The disowned heir. The name Sunspot. Yes. Definitely got more flair. <laughs> wow, can you imagine looking at that from down there? You know, sunspots are actually quite dangerous. <laughs> so it's actually a very cool name. This is the only language mutants understand, sir. Vote yes, and you best pray our children read their textbooks more than their Bibles. No, oh, Black Panther. Sir, King T'Chaka is right. We know next to nothing about Asteroid M. This could do more harm than good. Magnetic. He had his little Mario Kart profile and everything with the stats. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we need Gene to help him out. These waters, they're so cold. Yeah, that's about to be everybody's life. This is the dark pain you've carried inside all these years. Oh my goodness. And while the tide of our past can drag us under, it also carries us to others who are fighting their own current. Aww. Rogue? Yes, people like Rogue, who help us stay afloat when our limbs tire or the waters rage. She left me. So many did. Aww. I trusted you. You said you understood. He's like a child you right now. Me, as you did me. Well, when you get down to it, aren't we all? That's true. The only ones who can break our heart are those kept in it. That's the truth. But none know what this is like. No, we were our brothers. Do not presume us family. My family. Oh, jeez, that's a sore spot. Oh, no. I can't see them. Where are their faces? Why can't I see their faces? Come on, do something, Professor. Let the tide pull you back. It's oh my gosh. cold. Uh, I'll drown. No, no, you'll you be friends. fine. That water is Aww. rising. They took them. Those monsters took. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Dang, oh, what gosh. is this? Yeah, that's that's bad. Very bad. <laughs> Ironic. All right, Nightcrawler. Your turn now. Everybody attack right. at once. Whoa. Keep the pressure on him. 
I'm scared for Nightcrawler though, because we just we just saw Bastion do something like where he moved really fast. Oh no. Oh, there you call it. He learns too quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Dang, how is he so good? Oh crap. You'll never hurt my family again. Dad power, let's go. Yo. The way the power looked just now, it looked like uh, something out of Marvel vs. Capcom, where it just the beam got really big. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dang. <laughs> All right, Jubilee, let's see what you got. Slay me with the 4th of July. Haven't heard that one before. Huh? Yeah, I, re I want to see this, the full extent of her powers. Let's go. Does he even hurt? Just keep going. You can't stop with this guy. You got to make sure he's down. I don't think they're going to take him down. I think it has to be Magneto. Oh! And then he reforms, right? I think it has to be Magneto. You call yourselves a team, a family. Behold my family. Oh, God. Family sucks. Oh. I knew someone was inside. I had a feeling, a sneaking suspicion that someone was inside. Forge tends to Nathan. He lives. Oh, good. Y'all are like having this happy reunion. There's some serious shit going down right now. Oh, dang. He's strong. Oh, crap. Get out of there, beast. Oh, my God. Truly, he is the future incarnate. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but it sounds horrible. Let's go, guys. Oh, is this like all the toys going into the incinerator like in Toy Story 3? We go down together. And then Magneto's gonna show up like the claw. Stand down, team. Oh, what? What? We can't give up. That was unexpected. We're gonna do what we've been telling humanity to do for years. Stop fighting the future. And embrace it. What? Oh, give him what? a cuddle. He's just a hurt little boy. The professor came to you, Bastion. If she did, it was to protect me! Parents are human too. Yeah. I know how it feels to have the things you trusted, the future you were building, crash down on you. And refuse wow. to let go even as you're buried by what should have been. That's a dope shot. Yeah. Humanity is going extinct. They're having babies. And more and more of them like us. Yeah. Missile alert. Missile alert. Uh -oh. oh, gosh. Humanity would rather die than have kids like us. Aw. The Magneto Protocols. Gosh. <laughs> How are they going to get out of this when alive? Oh, oh God. Well, there you go. <laughs> the show's been doing a phenomenal job of answering questions pretty quickly. Are they gonna save Bastion as well? Bastion! Grab on! He's not going to. Or is he? Bastion's looking like Two Face right now. Okay. How is he not burning her? How is she able but to scream? I know, where's the atmosphere? You guys are about to be the biggest hits of the Ice Age. Get to Forge on the ground, now. Uh-oh. Are there other means to restore Asteroid M's orbit? Theoretically, yes. But perhaps if- Everyone on the jet. Perhaps Hurry if up. what? <laughs> I'll stay back and try blowing this place up with my blasts. Oh gosh, don't do that. You'll die. Exactly. That's what you would do. It's what you've done. Wow. Gambit 2. Remy died so we could live. That's right. Eureka! That's it! Indeed, the odds remain reckless. What? But if we all work in perfect unison... Old hands, like the end of our world Guardians of the Galaxy. Fate. I thought for a second he was going to figure out a way to bring Gambit back. What did happen to the stuttle jet? No, that could fry the jet. How will you get back? Storm! Oh no, they just... Their romance just started. Ain't it always like that, though? Star-crossed <sighs> lovers. Yeah. Nathan. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Nathan, I always swore I'd never repeat my father's mistake. The mistake I made when Madeline sent you into the future. What mistake? 
Oh my gosh. Not saying goodbye. Those rebel leaders I told you about in the future, rambling about the adventures of the X-Men. It pissed me the hell off. <laughs> I'll tell you, those legends really didn't do my folks justice. <laughs> oh, wow. The day you were born, your mother told me you had my eyes. They're good eyes. Oh. And now they're yours. I love you, son. Oh, damn. Okay, Jean, it's time. Let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, this rendition of the song is awesome. Yeah. It's like so sorrowful. She can't say it, but I can. I love you, Logan. Stay with me. That's a real friend. <laughs> yeah. That's a real friend. <laughs> the asteroids reach in terminal velocity. They won't have enough power to escape Earth's gravity. Oh my gosh. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. They need Magneto. You were a boy when you lost your family. That is why you can't see their faces. So many nights, scrolling a fantasy of strange faces for a glimpse of my future. Aww. There's a power in seeing yourself in another, in resemblance. There is no one like me. Yeah. You got Xavier. The X-Men and I may not resemble each other, but we are still family. Yeah. We had a dream. Charles. Quick. And like that Time dream, is running out. any family worth having is worth fighting for. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Come, Come on. on. You are Eric Magnus Lenscher, but the man you wish to glimpse as a child chose another name. What's his name? Say it. Remember what he was meant to do. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Does. All right. Wow. <sighs> All right, in the nick of time. Of what now? Uh, I don't know. They went somewhere Dice. else. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Forge. They're in the upside what? down place. Howdy. Oh. Must be a damn fool walking in here like we're friends. Oh, we're friends, Daniel. Yeah, you've been gone for a while. The X-Men are dead. <laughs> Luckily, this ain't our first time at the X-Men are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Something or someone yanked our friends through time. And now we gotta go rescue the X-Men. Are you kidding me? Season two, baby. Is that how we end it? Uh, Kurt? What? what? Apocalypse? Is it? That's my assumption. Two seconds in this place and she's already back yeah. in fights. <laughs> oh. Hi! Oh. Do they all end up there? Yeah. Gee. Oh, oh my god, the no! The future, the future looks very bleak. Are you okay? We're not alone. Right, mom. At least they're together. Whoa. I don't know who that is, but he looks cool. He looks cool. Perhaps our recently rescued friend holds the answers to our location. Who are you? We have no quarrel with you. You're a long way from Crest Coast, Sapien Cast. Sapien Cast? I sense no need to be afraid. Oh. Nathan. <gasps> no. No way. Oh God, if they can have a relationship with him as a child. My name is En Sabanu. That's an awesome name. Whoa. Wow. Oh dear. Huh? Yeah. Indeed. To be continued. Yo! Duh. Okay, so we're definitely getting a season two then. I think they're doing three seasons if I'm already. So much pain, my children. Who? Oh, Apocalypse. Is it? So much. Pretty, pretty <gasps> oh. Shit. 
I guess that doesn't mean anything. I got excited because I was like, does that mean that Gambit gets to come back? Maybe. Because I saw the card and I was like, oh my God, it's Gambit. Can we get him back? Please. That was a very, very epic finale to the whole thing, man. End to end action. It was just building and building and, and just getting more and more crazy until you yeah. had a, like a Back to the Future 2 type ending. <laughs> where Doc Brown disappears into the 1800s. Here you dispersed uh, X-Men across different points in time. Thankfully, you know, one group went over here, the other group went over here. Yeah. Or it, yeah. it would have been really, really complicated. Both instances leave me with more questions than anything because I know nothing about what's in front of them. And Apocalypse, the I'm assuming that's Apocalypse, that was just its own thing altogether. I. I don't even know what he's about to do. So it, it, it's crazy. Is the it's just crazy, y'all. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's an exciting place to leave off because there's so much possibility for what they could explore. I'm very excited for Cyclops and Jean to maybe get to experience, you know, the childhood of their son and like actually maybe get to be parents to him more because it was incredibly touching when they had that moment um when they like astral projected to him and you know scott was like i love you and like then you know he got to see his eyes and all of that it was incredibly moving because you know he's a grown-ass man but his whole life he has that chip on his shoulder that like my dad abandoned me. Yeah. You know? I I wish that scene was blocked a little bit differently. I understand. <clears throat> Excuse me. I understand why they did it that way. Everything is done economically, right? Because it's an animation. <clears throat> right. If you did that any differently, it would have taken a lot more time. And maybe X-Men episode 10 doesn't come out on time. <laughs> so I get it. Keeping the economics of making an animation to the side for just a moment. I would have really liked it if they were in front of him standing and he stood up and he got to hug them or something. Oh. You know what I mean? Because if it was yeah. just so like, it was a little bit odd in terms of the blocking. Like if it was live action, I wouldn't have done it that way. You know, he's just like sitting there chill, holding hands for a second and then they disappear. The moment was still touching nonetheless. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It was it's really still, touching. It, it did what it needed to do. I think for me, like, yes, the action and everything was like absolutely bonkers. It was crazy, wild, so good. But I really enjoy the writing and just, you know, how deep they get with it sometimes. All of the trauma and everything that like, the characters are going through. Magneto and his mental break, Yeah, you know, and like having to rediscover himself and who he is and owning that and then being like, I'm Magneto, I'm going to save the friggin' world, you know? It's awesome. Is it, that's the, you know, not the first time we've seen Magneto have to hit the undo button. I feel like we've seen him do it a few times in the movies. I mean, you just... Like the, go ahead. Sorry, no, go ahead. No, no, you just went through the series, so you tell me. No, yeah, no, he's like the, he's like the control out, delete button. Oh, <laughs> X-Men. Yeah. It causes yeah. a problem that he's got to... It's basically Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, Jack Skeleton or whatever his name is has to, you know, put Santa Claus back. I mean, I mean that's an oversimplification of the whole thing. I get it. But it was cool to see Magneto, you know, rise and, and help everybody out. There isn't even time to really celebrate because they all got sent back through time. Now they just got to kind of assess and get their bearings and move forward from there. And I guess now it's a question of how do they get back to their own timeline? A bishop's yeah. obviously going to assist with that. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and he's teaming up with Forge, which I think is a very good partnership because, you know, Forge can, can make the gear yeah. and Bishop can guide the way. So I think, you know, they'll they'll be able to figure it out, which will be cool. There was um, an abundance of blue balls in this episode as well, okay? There was an abundance of teasing. I'm like, yo, you got this superhero here, this superhero there, and they oh, do oh, nothing. Right. And I'm like, no. y'all just should not have shown it to me because now I just wanted to, I wanted to see a participation, you know, of some sort. And they just was like, hey, it's a, a cameo. I'm like, no. It would kind of make sense that they would try and help, right? But they just kind of stood by, which seemed weird. Yeah, it's, a, it's, like it's, it's as frustrating as Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> when you have a cameo of Daredevil and he doesn't help out, even though he's a yeah. superhero. I wanted to see them in the throes of it all, uh, but I get it. It's neat 
with cartoons because you can have a cameo and it doesn't actually cost you anything. Unlike with live action, now you got to pay, pay Charlie Cox, you know, his day rate, you know, to yeah. participate in that film. So you get to cheaply add in these people with very little to no cost, other than the cost of the animators and the time it takes. But I guess I'm being a spoiled little bitch and having them at all was better than not having them, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. So. And maybe, maybe they'll do something more with them in season two. And right now season one is like, this is X-Men. That's true. That's true. They could help out in season two. Uh, you know, with our remaining characters in the present day. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about like the messaging of the show, which is just so lovely. And especially this episode, seeing Professor X and Cyclops kind of embracing empathy as the way forward. I thought it was surprising. Well, maybe not that surprising, honestly, because it is X-Men and Professor X and, and Cyclops. And Cyclops is quite a goody two-shoes. At least in my experience, maybe he's different in the comics or whatever. But I mean, to have him be like, no, we're not going to fight him, um, Bastion. Yeah. And just kind of embrace him and be like, come, come join us. And even with Bastion being all like, oh, you're just going to try and recruit me now, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, we, fe we lead with love always. And that's what I really like about the X-Men and Professor X. But... You know, you, you have those two sides that are so compelling because we were saying like Magneto is a very compelling like character, uh, character not so much a villain. Adversary maybe. is what you said Adversary, earlier. right? Yeah. And so he's really compelling because when you, when you know his backstory and everything that's happened to him, it's like, yeah, 100% don't blame you for seeing the world the way that you do because according to you the world is full of people who want to hurt and kill you because you're different yeah. and that's his truth and it's and it's true whereas professor x's truth is on the other side love each other and protect each other and all of that and so it's just really it's really interesting seeing all of those different sides come into play i thought i, I don't think you heard me during the show i thought that bastion looked a little bit like two-face with the teeth and everything. Oh, I just yeah, I wanted to see him say, Rachel! <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting turn in the end that you're talking about where, you know, Cyclops is like, no, we're, we're good here. Come on. <laughs> I'm like, what? What's happening? <laughs> I was a little bit thrown by the whole thing. You're like, uh, no, I wanted you to fight. <laughs> yeah, I because it went differently than I was expecting. The same beats basically happened that I anticipated. It just happened differently than I had anticipated. Because I, I thought what was happening was they were just kind of holding down the fort, keeping the pressure on until Magneto comes out to stop him. But right. they basically kind of stopped him. But then there was like another issue with the with the asteroid to, you know, thing. And that's what Magneto had to stop. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that's, that all works. Both ways are fine. Um, it, it was it was epic to see Magneto rise up and, you know. So for those of you that don't know, um, I was not, I Achara and I have different opinions about this. I'll, I'll say that to save Achara quickly. Um, I'm not the fondest of uh, what's it? Days of Future Past. Uh, cause I sometimes, oh. sometimes I confuse that with first class cause the names days of future past. I'm not the biggest fan of it because, and I know a lot of people love that movie. I, it uh, irritates yeah. me beyond just beyond words that Wolverine was kicked out of the third act of that movie. And they did him dirty here too. They just kicked him out of the final episode. Basically. He's just basically unconscious. I'm like, you gotta be joking. Listen, it can't all be about Wolverine, okay? As it shouldn't. I get it. He, he's really cool. Yeah. But there are other characters who are cool as well. I get it. No, I saw a comment. I saw a comment about that on, on one of our videos where they're like, look, Wolverine gets a lot of star power in like, he's always shining in all the other X-Men things. I mean, heck, yeah. in, in the new Deadpool movie, you know, it's Wolverine who's back. I get it. I get that he already gets a lot of love. But this version, yeah, it's just it, reflecting on the episode. I'm like, that kind of sucks. <laughs> it just took him out just like they did in Days of Future Past. I guess that's why he gets his own movies. That's uh, true. Uh, I, I thought it was great how Morph came in clutch. He's like, hey, I'm Gene now. I love you. We're, we're, you come yeah. on. You've you got to pull through. That was so sweet. Yeah. Like their friendship in, in the X-Men is really strong because they are. They're a family. But I was surprised at 
how long it was taking Wolverine to heal. Maybe I'm just ignorant. It always seems like he heals really quickly, but I guess having the adamantium ripped off of your skeleton would probably mess you up hardcore. So we, I guess I can believe that they would take a long time. I didn't catch the detail of exactly how much damage has been done. Clearly a lot. <laughs> that's that's the yeah. best, that's the memo I got. Is like, clearly he's been set back a couple of weeks at least. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna take a while. Yeah. yeah. I thought that the way the fight was going with uh, Bastion was quite interesting because it did seem that over the course of the battle, he was getting damaged. I, for some odd reason, thought that he was going to be able to, like, regenerate himself or heal. But, like, when he was going, you know, when he was doing fisticuffs with Rogue, he was actually getting hurt. He was just very resilient. And, and you yeah. know, th through every step of the way, he, w he was actually getting hurt and slowed down. I was like, oh, okay. That's interesting, because you're not used... To, I'm not used to seeing that. And what was really cool is the way they stacked the um, circumstances here is better than we get in a lot of X-Men movies. <laughs> because, you know, you have the action that's unfolding, and then you have the stuff going on in mentally with Xavier and Magneto. And so to have those two things juxtaposed, both quite harrowing for different yeah. reasons, that was actually really good writing because it, it keeps you constantly in suspense, constantly in the tension, no matter what you're looking at, you know? And because it's different kinds of tension, it does feel like you get a break from one form of it to experience another, if that makes any sense. I, I thought that was yeah. very well crafted in that regards. Watching Magneto go through that, I felt for him, even, you know? I felt it, they do a good job of like, not only connecting you with why he feels what he feels, but like kind of vicariously experiencing his pain, you know? Yeah. As he was kind of going through it all, and then even Xavier going, you know, your parents, died when you were so young that's why you can't find their faces it's like oh god this is so heartbreaking <laughs> like, yeah it hurts it is and and even just the way that he was portrayed the animation you know his body language the way he looked he really did look like a little child you know and you could imagine the young boy version of magneto just trying desperately to hold on to a memory or something and his mind betrays him because memory is just like it's so fleeting sometimes so it is just really sad to think of him like that this is why i love the x-men like the movies the animation everything it's just that the characters are so interesting and compelling with such rich backstories the last thing i want to talk about is phoenix like i thought that whole thing with phoenix was fascinating as she she showed up and then she turned uh, Sinister X, uh, Sinister X, Mr. Sinister, into Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> she like took him apart from the inside, uh, like yeah. genetic on a genetic cellular level. She took him apart, and then Phoenix just bounced. And you know, uh, I know. Jean Grey was, I was like, like, "We need you." Jean Grey was like, "Yeah, she's my homie. She showed up, you know, for Cable. She loves him." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> She's just out, comes in the nick of time like Captain Planet and then bounces. But it was cool to see her. Yeah, it, it was cool to see her. I wish that she could have stuck around for a little bit longer, but she's just like, nope, I came, I helped out, I left. That was great. Have a nice time, everyone, you know. <laughs> That's it for now. Looking forward to season two and beyond. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.